Number 97. Which of the following molecules and ions contain polar bonds, and which of these molecules and ions have dipole moments? All right, so for this video, we're going to be talking about ClF5. We want to find out if ClF5 has polar bonds and if the whole entire molecule is or has a dipole moment. Now, when they're asking for polar bonds, especially if they're asking for dipole moments, the easiest way to answer this question is to draw a Lewis structure. Now, it's one extra step, but I promise you that if you can visualize what this actually looks like written down, the answer is going to come much easier. Now, there's tons of videos on this channel uh, that we dive into drawing Lewis structures, so you could always go back there just to check out how we draw them. But if you want, you can pause the video and see if you uh, can draw CLF5 and see if your Lewis structure matches mine. So, in this case, chlorine is going to be in the middle because chlorine is less electronegative than fluorine, more electronegative elements, never in the middle. Um, we have five fluorines, so one, two, three, four, and five. And let's do all single bonds. So single, 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 and single. And then each fluorine has six lone electrons or three pairs around it. So that looks good. We're almost getting there. And then once I finish drawing the dots, I believe chlorine is going to have one extra pair um, and I'll put it right here. Okay, now here is the Lewis structure. From here, we could find out if this molecule has polar bonds. Now, specifically, when they're talking about the actual bonds, whether it's polar or nonpolar, we're looking at a bond that is from one element to another element. So in this case, I see that I have five bonds. So you only have to pay attention to one of them. Now, for this uh, compound, all the bonds have a Cl bound to an F. So it doesn't really matter which one I look at, right? So I'm going to just pull that out. I'm going to say, okay, Cl bound to an F. And you could have said, you know, F bound to a Cl. It doesn't really matter. But when you're trying to find out polar bonds, just be careful. Because generally speaking, we can go by the acronym SNAP, S-N-A-P, to figure out that polar means that it's asymmetrical, meaning that between your bond you should have um, different elements. However, just make sure that you're in the electronegativity difference round. If you are a polar bond, your electronegativity difference, and remember, just difference is just a fancy way for saying subtraction. So if you subtract your two electronegativities, you should be in the realm between 0.4 and 1.8. So that's why I have this little chart over here. We're just gonna make sure chlorine's electronegativity is right here, it's a 3.0, and fluorine is a 4.0. So when you subtract the two, just, just know that your electronegativity difference is always going to be a positive value. So when you subtract these, 4 minus 3, right, is going to be a 1.0. And in this case, your electronegativity difference is in that realm. So we do have polar bonds. So the bonds in this case are polar. But now let's figure out, well, does this have a dipole moment? And how we find that out is just know that if your molecule has a dipole moment, that means that your whole molecule is polar. So now we're definitely using this SNAP acronym where asymmetrical means polar. And here's a trick, guys, that if your central atom, right, if your central atom has lone pairs, so I'll say central, central atom has the dots, right? that automatically means that you are, or this molecule is polar. So I see the central atom, which is chlorine, and chlorine has one lone pair, there's the two dots. 
right off the bat, if you see that that central atom um, has two dots, it's automatically going to be a polar molecule, which means that the whole thing is polar. And because of that, you do have a dipole moment. So only polar molecules have a dipole moment. And there are your two answers. So this one does have polar bonds and it also has a dipole moment. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, yeah, you guys have been great. Keep studying hard. Thank you for being part of this community. And I hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying, all right? Always keep learning. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.